G'day cobbers, welcome back to the bush. In this episode of Lockhouse Four Wheel Driving, we're going to show you how to replace a Schrader valve in a four wheel drive tyre, the type you inflate your tyre with on the side of the track using nothing but hand tools. This one met its end, an untimely end, on Mount Terrible Track in Victoria's high country. So, let's get into replacing it. Now I've zoomed in a bit so you can have a better look at what's going on here. Usually this bit sticks out the tyre, and as you can see here, it's been ripped off by a passing branch. Now, if this is damaged, but it's not actually letting the air out, but you still want to replace it, you're going to have to deflate the tyre first. And the way you do that, the simplest way to do that is to wind out the Schrader valve. So you grab your tool, out of your string kit, string repair kit, and you just wind it out. You have to be careful though. There's a bit of air pressure behind it. This valve will come out at about Mach 10. So once it's out, you can put him aside, not in the mud. And then once the tyre is deflated, we can break the bead and I'll show you how to do that now. Now in order to break the bead away from the wheel, you need to push on this part of the sidewall. Don't run over it with the car, use a jack. Now, I'm gonna use a high lift jack. You don't have to necessarily use a high lift jack. You can use the standard jack or hydraulic jack, whatever you have around. But I have the high lift jack around, so that's what I'm gonna use. And use the weight of the car in order to push down. And eventually, It'll let go. There we go, it's letting go now. Now that side's done. We'll move it on to the other side by spinning the tire around. And we'll do the other side. The tire spun around 180 degrees push the bead off the other side. Same process as before. Let's push on the side wall. There we go. And the bead's popped now all around. So we're ready to set up to replace that valve. Now the valve's just here, but we need to access it from the back side. So we need to make a bit of clearance. So we're gonna push that down using the high lift, or you can use any jack. Now you can see down here, the back of the valve, and we've got plenty of room to work. So if the Schrader valve's still in one piece, the easiest way to get them out is to just grab a sharp knife and cut them at the back here. But since ours was already in two pieces, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to rip this one out. And there we go. Now to install our new valve. So to install our new Schrader valve, we get to using our string repair tool again. Now, that screws onto the top of there, and we can pull it through from the back. But we probably need to put a little lubricant on there. So again, from the string kit, grab a bit of your lubricant, and just run it over the valve stem. With that done, we can push it through from the back and screw this onto the top. And I'll show you what we're doing from the other side in a second. Now with the valve stem lubricated, we can pull it through from this side with this handy dandy tool. And it might take a little bit of elbow grease. There we go, sorry for blocking the camera, but it's all the way through and we'll have a look at it from the other side now. So you can see that our rim is now sitting in this little bit here. Fully through on this side, on this side of the wheel and this part is retained on the inside of the wheel. Rightio, time to remove the jack. Okay, time for the jack to come out. Now, all that's left to do is to reseat this bead, and we'll show you how to do that now. 
Now you can see a little bit of a strange setup here for reseeding the bead. And I've put a couple of little bits of wood there. You can use firewood if you have them handy. And I've got a jack here. The reason being is I'm using the lowest flow air compressor I own. And that's the single piston ARB that operates the lockers in my 80 series. Just to show you that you don't need an ARB twin or something along those lines with half a dozen tanks to reseed beads. And you'll notice also that I haven't put the Schrader valve back in. So what this does is it pushes down on the wheel and in relation pushes the sideball up to try and get our air seal in here so it pushes on the bead. So we put a little bit of pressure with the jack and now we'll fire up the 80 and start pumping up that tyre. Okay, so now we'll just wind on our air compressor. And start putting a bit of air in there. And you should start seeing this gap closing up in a minute or two. Starting to come up in that back corner at the moment. And there we go, there's a pop. So we're fully inflated now as far as the bead is concerned. We have an airtight seal. So what I can do now, without an issue, obviously there's no Schrader valve in there. The air's gonna all come out. So I'll let that deflate a little bit. I'll turn the engine off and we'll wind in that Schrader valve. Now some wheels are going to fight you more than others when it comes to reseeding the bead. Uh, this one was reasonably easy. Uh, Land Rovers have a very large safety bead uh, inside to stop the tyre from being debeaded accidentally when you're off-roading at low pressures and they can be a bit of a bear to get on. But this one went no worries. We didn't have to use any lubricant or anything. If you get stuck for lubricant, a little bit of dishwashing liquid <laughs> or perhaps even some margarine. All right, so we've popped the valve back in there and now all we need to do is wind it in. And you don't need to swing on it like a 200 pound gorilla, <laughs> okay? Just firm will do the job. All right, so I'll fire up the 80 again and we'll reinflate to our final pressure. There we go, road going pressure of about 36 psi. So we'll just disconnect our inflator now and put our valve cap back on. And that's it, job done. All we need to do now is mount this back in the spare spot. Beautiful. And that's it guys. So now you know with a spare Schrader valve, a couple of basic hand tools, and the air compressor you probably already have with you, you can fix the Schrader valve, no problems on the side of the track. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, by all means, give it a thumbs down. Not once, not thrice, but twice. Thanks guys. We'll see you in the next one. So if you've enjoyed this content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell icon. It's really important to us and you won't miss out on our future content. Now, if you want to support the channel, by all means, consider becoming a patron on Patreon and you get things like early access to our videos on YouTube. Either way, we hope to see you out on the tracks.